So usually when he makes out the duck, he goes a really dark brown. It's oh, not a big one. Oh, it's extraordinary. But every now and then we have to wander around and actually look for him. Uh, sometimes he's almost invisible. <laughs> All right. Now on a, on a bigger note, you can see the yellow fish cruising around. Mr. G's got some little ones hanging out with him, but the stingrays have got some bigger ones hanging out with them. And they are a golden trevally, look how pretty they are. The golden trevally are very aggressive fish, and they've worked out that the stingrays have to push the food in and out of their mouth to eat it. So when it's out of their mouth, it's in the fish's mouth instead. Which is a big thing, but everyone gets enough, so it's all good. In the wild, they are also known as pilot fish. Basically, they swim around, keep an eye out for danger, use the other larger animals as, uh, well, I guess, something to hide behind and uh, steal any food that they might have and happen to drop on the way as well. Oh, stolen by the sand. Just the white. Stolen by the sand. So these fish are at the top here, if you've uh, had a bit of a look at them and try to work out which one's which. Right at the top there you've got the Australian salmon, the yellow tail kingfish, the trevally, the brim, the tailor, sea sweet, and the silver sweet. And most of those are found on the south and east coast of Australia. You've also got the big pink fish in here, they're the snapper. You may know if you've heard of those before. Um, the snapper are actually one of the most aggressive fish in this exhibit, and the divers actually have some chain mesh gloves under their other gloves to stop those uh, snapper from biting into their fingers off. Again, that's fun as it sounds. Now, the divers are heading over the tunnel around behind you, and that's for several reasons. 